Learners, if they are in the dirty space, uh, the teaching is not going to be conducive. But if they are in a clean environment, they appreciate it as well, the mood change. As Able Cleaning, we wanted to do an initiative that was closer to home, something that we have expertise in and something in the industry that we're already in. We then partnered with Brian, who is our enterprise development partner. So we got him on board and started the project of doing the specialised cleaning for the school. One of the things that we were looking for was a, a company that's led by somebody who's got passion. And Brian has demonstrated that uh, he's got passion, uh, willing to learn, and his performance uh, on this particular project in Johannesburg far exceeds the expectations uh, of, the, of the client. So I also grew up in the dusty streets of Mangalodi. And uh, the only time I went out of that township was when I was going to uh, Varsity and studied food technology at Varsity. And uh, after that, worked in the food industry and uh, eventually landed up in cleaning. And with Brian coming in the disadvantaged communities, he makes a huge difference. The an environment where kids are, are, are working um, and learning. So, you know, he's, he's uplifting the community here and it's exciting. Brian is doing an extremely good job in the sense of with the deep clean and um, the focus has been cleaning for health and I think definitely the results will show in the post audit report as well. And the way in which they work, they don't even disturb the running of the school and I can see that this is environmental education at its best. This project is aligned with our purpose statement. We develop people to serve people, to uplift communities. I think from, from my side, this is very, very close to my heart, especially the township school. We want our children and them to have safety, security and hygiene. It was very important for us as Sebo to make sure that we choose communities that were close to our key clients and the areas that we service. So Elevated Hygiene uh, currently employs uh, about 75 permanent people. So we're still a small company and obviously the future is uh, bright and, and we're looking forward to the future in terms of growth. And yeah, we, we want to grow up and uh, be like Sebo as well at, at some point. Well, I think first of all, Brian is setting the standards of cleanliness and is showing them what can be done. It was important for us not to just do a once-off deep clean and leave. You know, we wanted to leave the schools behind with something that they can carry on in the same direction. So we extended our donation to include um, cleaning equipment, tools and chemicals as well. What we thought was very important is just to train them and this will really benefit, I think, the kids going forward and that's, yeah, we're quite proud of that. So the feedback from the schools has been excellent. So even the district officials, when they come to the school, find that the ablation blocks are so clean, they are going to say something good about the school. I think this is absolutely fantastic for our school. We welcome this program. 